Welcome everybody here to another beautiful day at the Jesus Lord Garden. Now I meant to film this on my tripod and give a little talk or like give some Bible talks in the garden, but I'm gonna let you in on what I'm doing today, plant some tomatoes. I got these six packs of tomatoes on clearance for a dollar. I'm gonna be planting some super sweet 100 cherry tomatoes and also some beef master. And so what I got Here's a fine rooster making noise. I got some T-posts. I'm gonna install the T-posts right now as I plant the tomatoes. And of course you gotta have some of these. These tags are awesome. Don't be messing around with popsicle sticks. I've been there, done that. These uh, clips for tomatoes are way better than twine. You just hook a ray like that and they're reusable. Uh, on the T-posts, I'm gonna be installing some Hortonova netting. It's four feet wide there or four feet tall however long i think it's a couple hundred feet long and i got a t-post hammer to drive all that in it's not too bad of course you got to have some jesus is lord coffee too and believe it or not this mess on the back of my truck all is related to gardening i've got bone meal and leftover potting mix for play sand for carrots and i got some broken chunks of sheetrock which just so happens to be made of gypsum so if you want to spend all kind of money on gypsum, go for it. I'll get some free sheetrock at the local hardware store. And that will give calcium to the tomatoes. So, it's best that when you do this, you do it all at once. And don't try to go back later and put fences up and drive stakes in the ground and everything. It just doesn't seem to work. So, I got some bamboo stakes that you're not seeing. But I'm probably going to put them in there right now too. And of course some bone meal. And I'll come back for a part two. As I go plant these beef masters and super sweets, I'll show you what it looks like when you get the fence up. God bless you folks.